Hello friends! As you guys can see from the title today, we are doing our Dega Panning Project Pan update. I... <laughs> the month of July has been a struggle for me, you guys, so I actually did pretty good with this Project Pan, not so much the other ones that I have, but that's a whole nother video. So today I am sharing with you guys how I did with these products. Anything you need to know about this Project Pan will be down in the description box. So if you're interested to see my update, stay tuned. <music> Okay, you guys, I have five products in here for usage goals. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. First and foremost, I pulled out the Six of Diamonds last update and that was for pattern. For that, I brought in my Flower Nose Blush in the shade Flaming Heart. This is such a beautiful formula and product in general. I love this so much. My goal was to use this eight times and you guys can see that I basically started to wear off the pattern on here. It was a lot more pronounced. I've only had used it once or two times since this. So I used it my eight uses and it looks so pretty. I love the fact that it looks used. You can't even see the face anymore. You can't see much of it. It is a beautiful blush, beautiful. A little bit goes a long way, but I, I had a lot of fun with this one. So this is getting rolled out. Up next was 10 of Hearts. It was this time last year. For that, I brought in my It Cosmetics CC Plus. My goal was to use this eight times. I used this far more than eight times. I am wearing it today as well. This is gonna last me a hot minute. <laughs> I'm trying to use this one up next in general in my collection because it does have an expiration date and I don't want it to go bad. Not necessarily it's gonna affect me, but I'd rather use it knowing that it's gonna be good and not expire since this does have SPF in it. Not that I am relying on it, but it is what it is. So I'm wearing it today. I used it more than eight times, so this is also getting rolled out. Up next was the three of hearts, and that was, oh, the shame. For that, I brought in my Maybelline Lip Gloss in Brass. Uh, it was like a dual chrome color. You guys, it's downstairs in my purse, and I do not want to wake up the kids. It is bright and early as I'm filming this, so I don't want to wake them up. But I did use that more than eight times, as you guys can tell. It is in my purse. I slapped that sucker on as much as I wanted to, and that duo chrominess did not really show up on my lips. It just looked like a beautiful clear gloss, which I do like. I, I actually liked it. Now I understand why I had some usage on it, but then forgot because of the duochrominess. It is gonna stay in my purse because my goal is to actually just finish that one off. I really do enjoy that one for the summer. It gives a nice glow to my lips, especially when the sun hits it. Beautiful. So I am gonna keep that in my purse, but I, for the sake of this project pan, I did use it the eight uses. Then we have the eight of clubs and that was out of your hands. So I brought in the Tarte Radiant uh, Shadow Stick. My goal was to use this eight times. You guys can see that I actually got quite a bit of use out of this one. So this one is this shade right here, beautiful. I used it on my lower lash line. I did use it all over the lid as well. These are gorgeous. I really do like this. These came in a set. Tarte does really nice shadow sticks and I am such a fan of shadow sticks. This was perfect for this time of year. This is something that I can trust on my lower lash line to stay put, not run, not dry, not smudge. It is perfection. So I really do like these. So this is also getting rolled out. Last but not least was obviously the Joker. I brought in my Makeup Forever eyeliner. You guys, I, my goal is to finish this off. This is gonna stay here for the rest of the year. So it's still in here. This is the one product that will be rolling over and over and over in. I'm not wearing it today because I did not want to wear it because I know today I'm going to do my makeup not once but twice because we're going out tonight. So I wanted to do my makeup for the day and then I will redo my makeup and that's when I'll use this. So I am keeping this in because it is what it is, you guys. <laughs> okay, so here is the moment where we will be shuffling our cards in here. And you guys are seeing the game board. I am not. So I'm just going to shuffle a good three, four times. And then we are going to go ahead and pick four new cards since the Joker will be here forever. Let's hope. Okay, so four cards. Here we go. So first off, we have the two of spades eyeshadow. Okay, eyeshadow. That should be an easy one. Up next, the two of spades again? No, this is the two of clubs. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot see this. Whole collection roulettes. Oh, okay. Third one, 10 of spades. It is a vacation travel. What is this? What is this? Reminds you of vacation travel friendly or bought on a holiday. Funny is, you guys, 
Uh, next week I'm going on vacation. So that's perfect because I got to pack my stuff anyway. Last but not least, the Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades. Cool toned. Oh, I'm not excited about that one. Okay, so let me pick out my products. You guys, I didn't get a face card. I'm so excited. All right, let me get my products and then we will see what our goals are for this round. Okay, guys, I forgot that we have to do the whole collection roulette. So, okay, so I have my whole entire spreadsheet of all of my stuff on my, what you call it, on my iPad here. So I'm going to see, just going to go down to the number to see how much we're going to enter in. And we're just going to randomize a number and then go from there. Cause that's my whole entire collection. Um, I have not updated this unfortunately, but I should have done it yesterday and I didn't get a chance to. So we're going to roll with it cause we have plenty to pick from anyway. So we're going to randomize a number. 207. That's either a blush or a bronzer. No, it's a cream eyeshadow, Charlotte Tilbury chocolate bronze. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, let me pull that one out. Okay, are you guys ready to see what we chose? So for two of uh, spades is eyeshadow, right? I'm making sure, eyeshadow, yes. So I brought in something easy. This is my Cargo Windsor. I brought this in already before. We're still trying to hit pan on the sucker. Goal is eight uses. I wore this today. Let's see how much I can get out of that, but I'm pretty sure I should meet my goal for that one. Two of clubs is the whole collection roulette. You guys saw that. This is my Charlotte Tilbury chocolate bronze. So this one's brand new. I have yet to play with it. So this is exciting for me because this is the perfect time of year to play around with this. Look, it looks so nice on my tan. Okay, I'm excited for this one. My goal will be eight uses for this one as well. The 10 of uh, spades is vacation travel. Well, it's funny because next week we are leaving for a vacation. I've yet to pack my stuff out, but this, this shade reminds me of vacation and I actually was adding this to my vacation bag. So it worked out in the end. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Darling. This is the Tinkerbell collection and this just reminds me of vacation. Doesn't this remind you of vacation? This is a beautiful blush. I actually was gonna wear it today, but I decided not to. It's a little bit more bronzy than what I'm wearing today, but I love this one. So this is one that I am actually intending to bring on vacation. So it worked out as the prompt. My goal will be eight uses, but I'm sure I'll get more use out of it since it's coming with me on vacay. Last but not least was the seven of spades. Yes, yeah, seven of spades, which was cool tone. So for that, I'm bringing in this. This is the shadow stick in Cafe au Lotte. That's what I'm calling it. From Maybelline, this is the old school kind. This is a cool tone uh, brown. I love this for the crease. I like this one with a tan. This is one of those few shades that are cooler tone that I do enjoy with a tan, but I also can use it without it having to feel like I'm bringing a cool tone in that I'm not gonna enjoy. So this will be in for eight uses and this I'm, I'm now, I'm most likely gonna bring it with me on vacation just to use it as a crease shade. So I'm bringing this one in as well. And then obviously we have our fifth product, which will be the Joker, the eyeliner, which also is coming with me on vacation because we need to use her. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I actually am very happy with this round. This round was a really good one. I picked products out that I'm really going to enjoy, that I'm gonna have fun with and that can most likely come with me on vacation. It just worked out. It worked out very well. All right, you guys, that's all that I have for you today. I'm so excited. More videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, 